بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم پرائم منسٹر آف پاکستان منسٹرز فرام ساک ممبر اسٹیٹس آنریبل اسپیکر آف دا نیشنل اسمبلی منسٹرز فرام پاکستان سینئر پارلیمنٹیرینس سیکٹری جنرل آف ساک ایکسلنسیز اینڈ ڈسٹنگوشڈ ڈیلیگیٹس السلام علیکم اینڈ گڈ مارننگ It is indeed a matter of pleasure for me to welcome you all to the seventh meeting of the SAAQ Home Ministers in Islamabad. I am grateful to the Prime Minister of Pakistan for gracing this ceremony with his presence. Since the last meeting of the SAAQ Home Ministers in Kathmandu in 2014, a significant headway has been made in the regional collaboration in the areas related to peace and security. drug trafficking, transnational organi organized crimes, and maritime piracy. I hope that SAAQ will continue to move forward with the same momentum in order to achieve our goal of peace, stability, and progress in the region. Ladies and gentlemen, we are aware of the fact that South Asia region faces a number of daunting challenges and threats like militancy, extremism, terrorism, social injustice, corruption, and organized crimes like drug trafficking, human smuggling, and money laundering. There are also a host of other problems that have critical ramifications for our law enforcement agencies. Such challenges have affected our collective socio-economic development. Fighting these crimes need our collective efforts. Our institutions and individuals need a unified response to eliminate such festering problems from the society in the Sark region. This also requires the exchange of experiences and the expertise of our national institutions dealing with such menaces at inter- and intra-Sark level. The South Asian region shares similar history and common borders. Its law enforcement agencies need to evolve strategies and tactics for combating organized crimes. They need to create a safer and secure environment for a peaceful South Asia that is free from violence, organized crime, and social injustice. The hopes and aspirations of over one billion population of our region will only be fulfilled if we collectively ensure rule of law, promote good governance, and cooperate to fight crimes together. This important meeting provides us the opportunity to collectively and unanimously decide our future course of action for the well-being and prosperity of the peoples of South Asia. We must do a reality check of what we achieved so far and what still re remains to be done. It is time for us to seize the moment, to leverage our potential, and overcome our challenges. Pakistan is committed to the SARC process and desires to see it a successful regional organization. We have made substantial contribution towards various SARC processes and have taken a number of initiatives in furthering the goals of close regional integration. In the end, I would like to appreciate the work of the Interior Secretaries and delegates of the Immigration Authorities of the SARC Member States who have been working for the last two days with dedication to formulate their recommendations for the Minister's meeting. I would also like to acknowledge and appreciate the commitment and readiness of the Honorable Ministers to participate in the meeting. I hope our meeting will put forward concrete recommendations that would be submitted for the consideration of our leaders during the upcoming SARC summit to be held in Islamabad in November 2016. Once again, I convey my warm welcome to the distinguished delegates, and I do hope they've had a very comfortable stay in Islamabad. Thank you.